you look at inflation, when we look at where we are economically, and we are in a strong, uh, we are stronger economically than we have been uh, in history. What do you do if you're sitting at home? You have a job, but you're kind of strapped by inflation. So what's the takeaway here? What's the long term I mean, you should be gearing? You know what? It, it's so interesting because this time, you know, a year ago, the president could look at these numbers and tout them and sort of boast about them. Now that's completely changed because the name of the game is inflation. You've got ordinary Americans paying more in terms of higher gas prices, food prices, even though they saved so much during the pandemic, they're now eating into those savings. So Biden is going to obviously be blamed for this. We look at where we are economically and we are in a strong, uh, we are stronger economically than we have been uh, in history. Of course, this brings us back to the point where wages are lagging inflation. The purchasing power of incomes is declining and that will eventually take its toll of consumer spending and that is where we run into a recession. I, 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 I promise. Even more than ever. Not the majority of them aren't saying that. Come on, don't make things up, okay? Now you sound like a Republican politician. I'm joking. That was a joke. That was a joke. I'm joking. That was a joke. <laughs>